guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Architecture. I'm Architect Vaibhavi, and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So, in this video, we are going to be discussing about the natural construction materials. In the previous video, we have discussed about the man-made materials. If you haven't watched it yet, please do give it a watch. I will link somewhere here on the screen. So without wasting more time, let's get into the video and let's discuss about the natural materials one by one. So the natural building materials are materials sourced directly from the environment without significant processing. These materials have been used for centuries in construction because of the abundance, durability and sustainability. Some common natural building materials include mud, stone, wood, lime, straw and water. Let's learn one by one about these materials. So now let's discuss about the first material that is mud. Mud is one of the oldest and most natural building materials used by humans in the construction industry. It consists of mixture of soil, water and organic matter such as straw or plant fibers. So mud also referred to as earth or clay and has been used as construction material for thousands of years at this point now. Its properties can vary depending on the specific type of mud, its composition and how it is processed. So let's discuss about the uses of mud in construction. The first is adobe brick construction. Second is rammed earth construction. Third is cop construction. Fourth being mud plaster for walls. Then the earthen floors and mud mortar for masonry. So these are the uses of mud that we will be discussing in separate video itself. Now let's discuss about the properties of mud. First one being plasticity which is ability to deform and retain shape. Then the cohesion holds together due to the fine particle bonding. Then permeability varies and consideration for water passage. Then the strength dependent on composition, compaction and curing. Then the durability, it is influenced by weather, erosion and maintenance. Thermal properties, it is a good thermal mass, absorbs and stores heat. Environmental consideration, it is very sustainable, locally available and eco-friendly. Building techniques we just now discussed and used in low cost housing in economical option in specific regions. Now let's discuss about the material stone. So the stone have been widely used as construction materials for thousands of years due to their durability, strength and natural aesthetics. So the uses of stones in the construction are building facades, foundation, paving and retaining walls, for the flooring, stairs, steps. It has been used in various ranges like bridges, statues, monuments, landscaping and fireplaces cultural and historical sites and water features okay so let's discuss about the properties of stone the stone is very much durable considering the environmental factors like weathering and chemical exposure it has sufficient strength for compressive load bearing purposes then it is low in porosity the stone resists weathering effects caused by exposure to the elements the texture and color add to the contribute of aesthetic appeal of the stones then the non-slip properties in certain applications like flooring and stones with good sleep resistance are preferred. That is about the material stone. Now let's discuss about wood as natural building material. Wood is a natural organic material derived from the stems and branches of trees. It is composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin and various organic compounds. Wood is a versatile and widely used material in construction due to its various properties and there are n number of uses of wood in the construction industry like structural framing, cladding, flooring and roofing, doors and windows, plywood and engineered wood products, furnitures and framework and scaffoldings. Let's discuss about the properties of wood. So talking about the strength, it exhibits high strain to weight ratio. Denser woods tend to be more stronger. Considering hardness, it refers to the resistance to scratching and indentation. Stiffness, it is also known as modulus of elasticity, which measures its resistance to deformation under applied loads. It is tough and it has ability to absorb energy and resist fracture or breaking. It is durable and it resists to decay, insect attacks and weathering. Wood has natural insulating properties and wood has excellent acoustic properties. Okay, let's discuss about the next material which is lime. In building construction, lime refers to a type of binding material derived from limestone which is also known as calcium carbonate. Overall, lime is a versatile and timeless building material that offers a range of benefits including durability, breathability, sustainability 
and historical significance its use in construction continues to be valid by architects builders and preservationists around the world lime has been used as a construction material for centuries and it continues to be valued for its various properties in the construction applications so uses of lime it is used for mortar production plastering rendering historic building conservations paints and coatings so now let's discuss about the properties of the lime so discussing about the flexibility of lime lime mortars and plasters have some degree of flexibility breathability lime based materials are breathable allowing moisture vapor to pass through them it is a naturally occurring material with minimal environmental impact it is strongly alkaline which maintains the range from 12 to 13 lime based mortars and plasters have good plasticity and it is a material that exhibits a good fire resistance due to their high alkalinity and low thermal conductivity now let's discuss about the material straw straw is an agricultural by product consisting of dried stalks of cereal plants okay such as wheat rice barley oats okay straw bales have gained popularity as a sustainable and eco-friendly building material when used in construction they offer several properties that makes them advantageous for certain applications let's learn about the uses of straw it is good for wall construction insulation temporary structures landscaping roofing animal shelters garden and agriculture now let's discuss about the properties of straw straw has excellent thermal insulation it is a renewable resource that is readily available by by product of grain cultivation it is very breathable allowing moisture vapor to pass through them straw is a lightweight material compared to the other building materials which makes it easier to handle and transport straw effectiveness it is less expensive than many other conventional building materials making them a cost effective option for construction projects now let's discuss about the last material for this ppt which is wattle so wattle refers to a construction technique that involves weaving flexible branches or twigs together to create a framework often used in conjunction with other materials like mud or daub to form walls or structures the uses are it is used for wall construction fencing partition walls roof structures shelter constructions and decorative elements discussing more about the properties of wattle it is flexible okay the wattle structures may not have the same load bearing capacity of as many more solid materials like wood or stone masonries insulating properties wattle structures can provide some degree of thermal insulation helping to regulate indoor temperatures it is typically a low cost compared to modern building materials aesthetic appeal water structures have rustic and natural appearance many people might find visually appealing and yes i hope i have given all the information please stay tuned for the next video and you know the drill please like comment share and subscribe to my channel below i'll see you very very soon bye